All right, jumping into some uh, Transformers news. Today, actually, the day I'm recording most of this podcast raw um, is September 17th, 1984. And why is that a special date? Because that's when Transformers aired for the first time in September. Uh, Yeah, 1984, though. So two years before I was born. But a huge day in Transformer history. And yeah, just wow. Transformers, like... (laughs) Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I really always loved the show. Like I said, like I, I was always like Ninja Turtles. I remember watching Ninja Turtles at like two and three, and absolutely loving it. It's something about the green little guys, the mutants. You know, when you're a kid, you're like, yeah, and they eat pizza, and like I, I didn't even know what they're eating at the when I was that young, but I just was like enjoy it. But I always thought Transformers was the next level show. Like I thought it was for adults or something as a kid. Like I'd be like, this is like a serious cartoon, even though Transformers has the goofiest stuff possible at times and all that as well but um yeah i just like i have such vivid memories and yeah like i'm i must be like some of the younger generation to see the original run on tv before you know they did gen 2 and had it on ytv because i'm in canada so they used to play uh, they call it generation 2 but it was still the old show and uh yeah they played on ytv a different little cut but um yeah for me watching transformers i'd have to catch it on air when i was really young and then of course in the days of getting a vhs player and a v and vhs's my grandma i remember um she worked at this place called lakeview market and it was in uh, my town and it was right next to a video store and the specific crazy thing about this video store is it had so many Transformers VHSs that I've never seen. It had those big box ones and all these different variant covers. I know they have lots of weird covers that used to be in Canada for Transformers uh, VHSs and stuff. I, I love collecting VHS, so any Transformers VHS I must collect as well. But I remember being just a small little <laughs> helpless dolphin. And yeah, I would look at the rack and uh, <laughs> look at the rack. <laughs> I'd look at the shelf of. Uh, uh, VHS's of the Transformers, especially at the store. I loved going there. Even just to look at the artwork while I was there, I was like overly amazed at all the artwork on the boxes. And yeah, I'd look at everything and yeah, I'd get to rent a few VHS's and watch Transformers that way. But I still remember seeing it on regular TV as a kid too. And I would just get hyped, even though I was like really young, really small, really silly. But <laughs> I love it. It's a huge day, man. Like, you know, Transformers, um, it changed so many perspectives as an anime style like you know um you know it's you know it's from the japan the toy lines the separate toy lines you know so it has that cool look i couldn't understand why it had such an amazing look as a kid and just seeing the opening oh, i'm just gonna play it just right now the opening um you know the big uh, symbols fly in and you see optimus and it's just like the transformers and the seekers come in you know uh thundercracker right in the front and yeah it shows the autobots you know bumblebee and optimus and megatron and soundwave and everyone's clashing and fighting and it's just like in robots in disguise tapes ejecting megatron turning into a gun um the seekers flying over the volcano and then the big huge logo with the trumpet transformers or whatever instrument it is it's just <laughs> It's happened so quickly, and it's so cool. It captured me. It captured such a generation of people. I'm so glad I'm not. Like, it'd be cooler to be a couple years older and seen it when it first aired, but, like, I'm glad I had that small little childlike imagination when I first saw the show because this stuff changed my life. Like, I remember thinking, like is there anything better than this and the toys were so hard to get and i know my mom (laughs) it's just like you know she gets upset but like in 1987 88 89 you know we didn't have a ton of money and these toys um besides being not on the shelves pretty much anymore they were expensive transformers figures especially back in the day so i didn't have a lot i had a few hand-me-downs i had some headmasters this wolf that wolf guy that headmaster figure and a whole bunch of junk like that but i absolutely loved it and yeah i'm just want to celebrate you know transformers more uh, I, I love the g1 show like the g1 fan base holds it together the g1 fan base still everyone 
talks about it like the hardcore fans always with the masterpiece lines and you know fans toys and the third parties that all do g1 and people just want them to do g1 and yeah i'm kind of with there with that with them i love the g1 stuff i'd love to see more masterpiece g1 officials though <laughs> much as i think some third party stuff is cool and probably would have some of it if it was like you know easier to access in my area um but for the most point i do like to stay under the hasbro label but yeah um it's just the g1 show though you know as silly as it could be and as serious it could be and fun as it could be it's a great show like it really is a great show um you know, use your imagination. Like I said, when I was a kid, I like how could they could just change, you know, I think that had a part of it too, being trans. Like just, you know, I know, oh, like I was really young and I would think about things about switching bodies, you know, <laughs> I wish I was Captain Ginyu, but <laughs> change now. But you know, um, it's like, I wished I could just change and they could change and they change into something they like and they were a robot. And yeah, the show had so many punchlines and written so well, Grimlock, the Dinobots, like, I remember I would be cackling, laughing, screaming, crying out loud by myself in a basement over the show. Like, I would be screaming, laughing, crying when Optimus died when I watched the original movie. Like, it was just it yeah there were so many times i just thought like how did someone even invent this how did someone even write this i was thinking that at, like seven eight years old i contemplate the writing in the show very hard because it just seems so good <laughs> i know it has its parts but it's just the characters each character in g1 especially that old show starscream megatron soundwave optimus bumblebee um you know tons more um this the depth the character each character you know even skywarp and thundercracker i just like their voices i just like how they held themselves even though they were just different repaints of starscream they seem to have so much character and you liked how they all kind of looked the same but had their own color and all turned into you know jets or what have you you know the constructicons how they all looked very similar and, and they all turned into different construction vehicles and yeah then they all merged together to form devastator and just the concepts um back then um blew my mind and i absolutely loved it like i said the sh first show first seasons you know um uh, even like the later seasons i'd watch two of g1 but um yeah like uh season three and all that with hot rod and all that i did like them to a point but i think um the ones i really liked mostly as a kid too was the original g1 stuff because it just captured a time and place and era and i don't know the jokes and then they have optimus and his crew even though i was always more infatuated by the decepticons I, and i liked how the autobots they were kind of like a fun family jazz would transform and play some tape and some silly music or something and everyone would have a chuckle and laugh and transform and let's roll out together type of thing so you know it had a family vibe it had you know it had so many good vibes in it and i still love it today to, you know sometimes it's harder to watch some episodes i can only watch so much in a row because i don't know it's just compared to, like you know i almost am I'm, I'm a big, big dragon ball z fan and um I, I just like in dragon ball z how it's like all together you know it's one long big story basically transformers had some of that going but once it was usually just its own separate like episode or couple episodes and kind of go from there which is good too <laughs> just yeah when you compare them now i feel like i could you know watch dragon ball z for a long time longer than transformers because transformers some of it gets a little corny here and there even though i still love it and remember it and stuff it's just like uh but yeah that's why i love the g1 transformers movie i know we're talking about the television show but i love the movie and we only get a glimpse that's the only glimpse of that style and glimpse of that perspective and take on transformers and it is the best take it's just aged up a little more it's more adult and the animation is on point and yeah i wanted after i saw that i begged i after i saw that i wished and wished and wished upon a star <laughs> that um you know we'd get something like that down the road we would get something again in that style and i love that classic 2d animation uh i absolutely love the tone that's what i meant to say the tone and expression of that movie like why like you know galvatron he went to therapy after in the show when it got so so silly like but in that movie everything was just had a touch of the serious sprinkled all serious sprinkled all over it 
<laughs> and a gel and sprinkles might <laughs> but um there was just a level of maturity a level of everything and it all came together in this awesome you know soundtrack and rock and you know i'm, I'm an eminem fan i'm not even into rock music but this this movie all together and how it is just just is insane and awesome and the perfect the transformers content my favorite transformers content to date so but the show is what got us there you know sure it had its misanimations sure it had errors here and there and weird stuff going on but hey it brought us the movie and it made us fall in love with optimus prime and bumblebee and the decepticons and soundwave and rumble and ravage and laserbeak and the whole crew it was so in depth with characters and i know it was all just to sell toys but you know it worked and you wanted the toys <laughs> i wanted all the toys but they were so hard to get why do you think i collected them you know for years later still like you know being a early adult you know early 20s i would you know buy an astro train here and there and save up for it because the g1 stuff back then was still going for some good money and yeah g1 it's just i know a lot of people think it's too blocky now or this and that but the people that grew up with it you see it just a tiny lit different you like the simplicity and yeah you kind of you know it's cool to see the titans returns and the combiner wars take on the transformers figures today and see them with the articulation but just seeing the old toy there's something nostalgic about it you used your imagination for the articulation you used your imagination for this and that but the toys were awesome the show was awesome one of my you know favorite cartoons growing up as a kid and still is you know dragon ball z transformers can't really get more better than that for me um of course i love other things pokemon at times and you know there's other shows but it's just yeah can't believe we're celebrating transformers being you know you know we're just celebrating transformers and i'm um, so happy it came out like i said i wasn't even born yet it took a couple years down the line for me to you know be at least two or three to actually see some episodes i'm glad my family wasn't against transformers i'm glad my family didn't think this was the devil or some devil worship <laughs> glad back then like people were more sla more lax and they didn't really care or think about ratings and maybe I was too young to see some of this, but I didn't ever get scared of Transformers once. Um, you know, I loved all the episodes. I loved all the artwork. I loved all the characters, and I just thought it was brilliant. I always thought it was brilliant from the get-go, because it is. It's a great show, and I love Transformers. And, yeah, you know, I like doing this podcast. I like talking about the toys. I like talking about the cards. I like talking about the culture um the app and anything so like this was a good thing to bring up you know i saw a few other people doing talks about it and i just want to do my own take and bring it up because you know i love the g1 show it's a show that started it all it's the show that you know i want the, all the g1 stuff still masterpiece style official hasbro style and yeah it's just fun to collect <laughs> fun to reminisce and yeah hopefully i did an okay job for that you know didn't really know really where to take it but i just wanted to share some <laughs> of that <laughs> and yeah we'll move on to maybe uh talking about some toys and such i wanted to bring up in transformers cyberverse uh warrior class wave five uh there's some packaging photos so uh yeah that's really uh interesting i do like my cyberverse like i said i'm trying to collect it all sealed and yeah keep it that way for now and yeah, not everything. I'm not collecting all the figures that don't come in plastic, basically. Um, I'm just collecting all the Cyberverse figures that come in plastic. And now we know that Hasbro might be getting rid of all their plastic, apparently, for the packaging in the future, which is really strange. But, yeah, this Wave 5, uh, this is Wave 5 of the F Cyberverse Warrior Class Wave. And, yeah, it's a repack of a Shockwave. And then there's Bumble. There's a Bumblebee retool from Wave 1. And, of course, Drift, who I'm looking super forward to and Jetfire. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited. These figures should hit the shelves around October 30th, 2019. Maybe, hopefully, in Canada earlier or around the same time. But, yeah, um, the, these are the ones that we've talked about before that have, uh, you know, the action, uh, based uh, mechanic you know they sh either shoot things out their arms or swords uh, shoot a, a sword shoots out of drift's arm and that but yeah i really like the jet fire sky <laughs> sky fire the jet fire um he looks really cool i don't have that shockwave so I definitely want this shockwave this shockwave looks pretty awesome as well the bumblebee like i said i already have the wave one bumblebee but i'd probably get this bumblebee as well but i'm just highly highly looking forward to that drift um 
yeah, he looks really cool. Um, he has a swing slash. Uh, Jetfire has a sky surge. Uh, Bumblebee, it says he has a hive swarm. And Shockwave has a wave cannon. Well, I really like the art, too, on these packages. That's why I like really collecting Cyberverse in the packaging. It looks really cool. Like They did a good job on the packaging. The show is only like a 15-minute long episodes, And I can't really get into the show or anything. And I know this is the more of the, you know the line that's for more of the kids or whatever but i still think um what they're homaging to some stuff is really cool and that jet fire looks cool um that drift actually looks really cool might have to buy two drifts and open him up and uh that shockwave and that shockwave looks pretty cool as well and like i said they might not be packaging the figures like this in the future so i'm kind of collecting at least the cyberverse uh sealed uh, as many as i can that i like <laughs> I don't think I'm going for a full, like, if I saw some of those, you know, the ones that don't have the, they're just, like, in car mode, and they just, like, you know, they have the box on them, but the, you can still see the toy, the toy's out in the open, and it has no plastic over it. I mean, if those go on clearance in the future, I'd probably pick them up, but as of now, I'm just kind of focusing on collecting the stuff that I like, and the stuff that is sealed, so, <laughs> and in the way I like it, so, you know, this might be a relic of the past in the future, <laughs> so, I just thought it's a fun thing to do. Um, a lot of people don't like this line like i've said many times i still don't mind it there's lots of stuff to really like about this line and yeah um like i said that drift i'm highly impressed by that drift it's car mode looks sleek it's robot mode looks awesome some people don't like the purple with the white and the red and all that but i really do the shockwave looks awesome he is like just his eye you know how shockwave always has the cyclops eye his eye looks kind of mean and treacherous and cool but yeah wave five not a lot to say on these guys except i really want them and yeah maybe i'll do another toy haul video in the future when i pick these guys up or something like that but yeah let me know are you still into the cyberverse do you care <laughs> uh, they're not for everyone but they are fun to collect and hunt down another thing to collect another thing to hunt down and all that but yeah i am looking forward to drift the most and yeah i'm pretty excited but yeah, I just thought I'd share that quickly. So Transformers figures I am super psyched about is then, uh, you know, more of the C-Cons are being released. And yeah, you can get them on Collection Toys right now and other websites, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, I put an order in for the other two C-Cons, so I'd like to get these guys as well. So now you can pre-order a Lob Claw, a Nautilator, uh, other name, and uh, also Kraken or Sea Wing. So yeah, they both, these guys... Uh, I like their colors on these figures. These are nice. They're like a teal blue and black and gray, and that's how it is mostly on Lobclaw. Um, Lobclaw looks like, you know, another Ripper or something, a uh, remold, but yeah, his alt mode is pretty cool. It's like a little lobster guy, um, cute little lobster guy, and his robot mode is fantastic. Like, I really, really, really like his uh, robot mode. It'd be hard not to... I know these guys will be all really cool, um, you know, combined in combiner form, but yeah, I really like that robot mode. I know I know people are a little down on these guys just because they cost a bit more and, they, you know, can only get them through a websites or the Takara store, I'm pretty sure, and, you know, they just cost a little bit more, which is a downer, but this is the last of the traditional G1 style combiner guys, so, and I really like their colors, like, um, yeah, this Lobclaw is really cool, and when I go look at uh, Kraken, yeah, he's... Pretty intense he's like a manta ray i'm guessing um he's got the black and the teal and the gray he's some sort of flying ship manta ray but yeah his robot mode i like the other guy a little more love club but manta this manta ray guy sea wing kraken whatever you prefer calling him um yeah he looks cool he's got big wings on him he's got uh you know his feet are big and bulky uh, he's got a weapon and yeah, they just these two kind of have the same colors the other two kind of have the same colors So they're kind of doing two and two and yeah, they look good like um, the original toy I kind of like I've said before thought it was kind of junky and strange uh, Even though I almost bought, bit the bullet on it a few times I just wasn't used to it, but I always liked the colors of it It had more unique style and same with these guys This guy has a little tinge of uh, yellow on sea wing kraken and on his eye visors are a little bit of yellow and just on his knees and that really pops these guys i know what you mean if you saw them on a shelf you might think they all look the same you know two and two or like you're like oh, eh. kind of confused you're like is there only three of them <laughs> but no they did a great job and i'm super stoked like i 
definitely be reviewing these figures and yeah loving them and unboxing them and gushing over them because they did a great job like i'm gonna go back to look at lobclaw i like lobclaw a little more for some reason it's just his head sculpt and yeah he has a little hints of red on his belt and his knees instead of yellow there's uh, yellow eyes when he's in his robot uh, little crustacean mode, his little lobster mode. I wonder if he tastes good, darling. But no, yeah, this guy, he's got like an axe as a weapon and a little uh, blaster, a little gun. So these guys are all about, you know, any of them you can make when they're in all in their combined mode. Any of them, one of them you can make into a weapon because they're a six team instead of just the regular five team. For the original G1 uh, Scramble City Combiner style Transformers. But yeah, I am hyped on these guys. I am really, really in want to enjoy these guys <laughs> really like their robot modes and yeah the, i really like their robot modes and i am looking forward to their combiner mode and seeing the other two figures i can't wait i gotta pre-order these guys as soon as possible i have the other two pre-ordered but yeah just with the switch light coming out and a few other things <laughs> self-maintenance <laughs> i gotta uh you know make sure and i got so many pre-orders right now but i these guys are a must-have and yeah i'd love to get um yeah i'd love to review these guys are you guys into the sea kings are you are, are you guys into the sea cons are you excited for this batch are you are you upset about the price i'd love to hear it i love talking about you guys i love talking with you guys down in the comments about all the stuff that we're talking about here and yeah give me your opinion i'm really open to hearing different things are you are you mad these aren't in the store like yeah i think i'm i am mad about that part uh, i know maybe they wouldn't sell good or blah 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 but just have them in the store i, I don't know it sucks that so many of this uh line and stuff is there's so many generation selects you know this is a generation select so it's you know it's not as easy as finding some of the others even though i've seen some of the selects go into toys r us on the east coast and into eb games which is really interesting as well but yeah let me know how you feel about these guys do you like them do you not like them <laughs> i'm loving them and yeah really excited the Takara Tommy Mall exclusive Siege Nemesis Prime. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to talk about this. I've never really been into the Nemesis Prime, Black Convoy, uh, Scourge, uh, repaints. Um, I didn't really like something about the head sculpt on the one that was uh, from the last line, Powers of the Prime. I still probably should have got it, actually, when I think of it, but... Uh, track down one at some point but <laughs> I, li I really like this one the the repaint that they're doing this is sadly though this is a takara tommy mall um exclusive and i think they only ship at, from that website in japan only so you know we hope i'm i really hope and we hope people hope the people don't forget about the people the people hope that you know yeah we can get this from on other online retailers and stuff like that because yeah he's actually really cool he comes with a pink sword it's like uh alpha trion sword from uh titan's return painted pink and i really like like yeah he's got a cooler head sculpt he doesn't have the battle damage on him as well that i actually really really like these figures actually look a lot cleaner without that battle damage and he's just the right type of turquoise and black and with the pink sword really rocking out so yeah, he looks really cool. I love the G2 repaint of um, that Laser Optimus Prime that they did. I think that was actually the one for, like, you know, Transformers Robots in Disguise. Uh, that was the toy they sold it with, or the series. But, yeah, they, you know, when we first met Scourge and that. But, yeah, he's so cool. Um, the Also, the vehicle mode, the little truck, Cybertronian truck. I'm not the biggest fan of this transformation, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, it all blacked out with the teal and the red. So I think it would have been cooler though if they made uh, his chest part more like pink. I remember it being more pink than this dark red. But but yeah, you never know with these guys. And I think I read it was March 2020 that this guy will be out. So wow, something to look forward to in the new year: a dark Optimus, a black Nemesis, scourged Optimus Prime figure. And yeah. would you guys bite the bullet and buy another one of these? Do you like a uh, Prime? nemesis prime repaints do you care um do you think it's just another way you know do another ultra magnus do another nemesis prime another cheap way to just recolor a toy but i think it works and in this case this guy looks good and i really like the no uh battle damage on him and yeah i think it'll be like 59 american so see so yeah, i'd be like 59 or something american but i don't know it looks good i want one <laughs> Uh, yeah, I kind of want that other one too now that I say it. I was like, oh, I didn't really want it, but now I want the 
Uh, powers of the Prime Nemesis Optimus Prime. I wonder how much that goes for still. <laughs> So you can still get Transformers, Powers of the Prime, Nemesis Prime, um, just checking it out on Big Bad Toy Store. It says 69 so I guess that's in Canadian dollars. Maybe it's American. I can't remember right now. But actually, when I look at it, yeah, it's the head sculpt. I, I almost don't want it. I like that little, uh, yeah, I really like that little Nemesis Ryan Pax. That's cool. And, you know, the truck, it looks okay. I don't know, the tr truck and trailer. I, they, they look a little junky, but... And yeah, the Prime, I'm not as big fan of it as I thought I would be. I do like uh, the new one, though. I'm definitely jumping on board for this one and yeah, grabbing the new one. But the other one, it's something with the other one's head sculpt just doesn't look right to me. But the new one does the trick. So yeah, hold off on this guy. If, if I find this other one, Nemesis Prime, Powers of the Prime, down the road for cheap, I would pick it up. But I'm not going to pay $69.99. Transformer Siege Reconnaissance Refractor 3-Pack released at Canadian Retail, <laughs> says uh, DFW2005. <laughs> of course, um, yeah, uh, yeah, Toys R Us in Canada, we still have it, guys. We still have it, everybody. Don't be offended. <laughs> Every gender is included except for you, Danny. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, okay, so we go, uh, yeah, if I didn't have my in connection, my homie, my G, my elementary school uh, friend that works at uh, Toys R Us, I wouldn't have access to this guy. I mean, one refractor hit the shelves, the other two or three that he had, uh, one was for me, one was for another serious collector that I just met the other day in town, and another Transformers collector. But these guys are about like 10 years older than me, but... <laughs> yeah and the one guy he came into my work he's like i got a hook up at toys r us i'm like is it uh dhr he's like yeah it is <laughs> just one of my uh yeah like i said school friend and all that but yeah it's awesome to have uh, the homie in there to let me know when stuff comes out because i love this set i actually showed the video when i went into the toys r us i hope you enjoyed that and i just shot some of the inserts for the unboxing and review uh just uh today and yesterday so working on that for that'll probably be the next transformers uh figure the next transformers uh toy review to be out and then yeah i really like it and yeah i got two refractors uh for the animation colors i want to always say reflector uh, I got two animation color ones, and then my friend sent me one from Vancouver that I paid him for, and yeah, now I have all three, so I have both, and I want to do an unboxing of the other guys, and now, uh, yeah, I just love to do that. I like Refractor, Reflector, however you want to say it. Uh, I really think it's cool, you know, the little lens on it, the Siege packaging, the retro packaging with the new twist, uh, just goes the extra mile, and I was just so happy that they had it at Toys R Us in Canada, like, and I'm so happy we still have a Toys R Us. We're getting some of these con exclusives. We're getting some of these Target exclusives roll through Toys R Us's in Canada. Some of the Walgreens stuff, stuff like that. Um, some of the obscure stuff is coming through. And yeah, I couldn't be happier. Um, yeah, they look. This looks great. I will have my review out soon as plausible. Like I said, the Switch and the Sega Genesis stuff like that kind of put me back a little on time and extra hours that were extra hours at work. So. Uh, it's not ongoing <laughs> so but yeah it's good it's busy feeling okay and just trying to you know make this content but i'm so happy toys r us had this so if you're in canada i already heard it went on the east coast or now on the west coast you know keep your eyes out for it um let me know if you're finding it in other places in the states that'd be really interesting and yeah which do you prefer the g1 style colors the g1 style uh toy accurate colors the g1 style uh or, or mail <laughs> mail order figure so <laughs> mail order figure sounds so weird <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but yeah let me know what you like better and yeah look forward to hearing from you just thought i'd mention this in today's roundup and before we wrap this uh, podcast up, I'd just like to talk about Nova Storm coming to the TCG. Uh, that's the Transformers trading card game, uh, Siege Volume 2. Uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Nova Storm looks awesome. Um, his Tetra Jet mode in all yellow uh, in space looks really cool. And his robot mode looks really great as well. You know, I'm loving these Transformers TCG trading cards because, um, yeah, I like collecting them. I really like the art on them. I don't have anyone to play with in my area or anything like that, but um, they are really interesting. I like the art. I like collecting, so I like collecting them, and they're fun to open and unbox on the channel, and they're fun to just talk about, and yeah, I'm actually really enjoying it. 
you know, like I said before, the last trading cards I ever got into was Pokemon, and yeah, I've softly collected Pokemon cards here and there, but yeah, these Transformers TCG have totally got me back into cards, and yeah, I'm really liking them. And there's also Spinster coming out in the future as well, really like his colors, the pinks, the turquoise, the uh, purples, his helicopter mode, his robot mode looks great, um, that's awesome, I love seeing these uh, trading cards with these characters on them. Um, yeah, the, they do a nice job, and like other card games, they actually, their character cards are actually really big, they're oversized, but not oversized, like, too big, they're just, like, the perfect size, <laughs> but yeah, I really like them, the character cards are big, um, yeah, the colors are bright, they have shinies, metallics, holographics, whatever you want to call them, and yeah, there's, um, in the siege line, they also give a little small shiny as well, so there's a small shiny and a big shiny, which is different from the first waves, but yeah, I am so happy, um, this will be like wave four basically of the tcg as a whole but um volume two of just the siege uh, portion but yeah wow these cards look great i will be collecting them i will uh, definitely unbox some more on the channel i'd really like those videos it's fun just to open packs with y'all and see your responses and um yeah if you're into these cards i know these cards can be you know you know uh you know gambling in a sense these cards can be addicting so make sure you buy your cards at your own risk and don't gamble all your money away or anything like that but uh play responsibly and know your limits <laughs> but truly um yeah but yeah the cards they look cool they're fantastic i'd love to review more of them just thought i'd bring these uh two characters up quickly as i am loving collecting these cards i yeah i just want to share more with you and yeah like i said love the conversation about them and the art and yeah it's just fun something else to get into but um yeah thanks for listening and yeah we'll wrap this podcast up